and welcome to She Shaves with your host, Jill. Yep, you guys are so quick, you always guess that I'm Jill. So, happy 2019. This will be my first shave of 2019. I did do a video last night for my last shave of 2018, but unfortunately, I forgot to turn off notifications, and they were coming down and coming down and coming down, and I tried to stop them and I stopped my camera so that was a waste to shave in any case change 2019 so I thought I'd go back to uh, uh, a year ago and that's about the time in January when I start when I re-entered the uh, DE wet shaving community and I'm going to be using some products that uh, I would have used then I had watched hundreds of hours of videos and whatever, and I thought, oh my God, some of these razors are $50. Oh my God, $40, $50 and more. I want to find something inexpensive to see if I like it before I invest that kind of money, you know? So, tonight I'm going to be using some of those items that I purchased in the beginning of my journey into DE uh, traditional butt shaving. So to start with, I'm going to um, I'm going to use two razors. In fact, I've got two razors here. This is the uh, Razor Rock DE DE one, and this one is the Razor Rock Quick Change razor. $9.99 I think these were <laughs> and um, or $7.99 for one $9 no I think they're both $7.99 in any case they were very inexpensive so the um, this one the uh, DE1 is a uh, both of these are takes on vintage Gillette razors and this is a take on the super speed they're both very mild and the quick change is a take on a um, super speed. So you can see the head's very much like a Gillette super speed. So I am going to load that with, at the time, everything was Astra, 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 Astra. So that's what I'm going to be using is an Astra green blade. And I'm going to be changing the bla blade. Um, the same blade and put it in the other one when I use it for subsequent passes. So let's start with, and this is a brand new blade I'm putting in. If I can get it off the glue dots. Come on. Let go. All right. So we've got the Astra Super Premium Blade, the green that we're doing. So we are going to use, um, the first one we're going to use is, hmm, which one did I remember being milder? I'm going to use the Super Change, or the, the Quick Change first, <clears throat> the knockoff on the, uh, <clears throat> super speed. So it's a three piece razor, handle, base plate, top plate, <clears throat> and oh, where did my blade go? And you load the blade on the top cap, put the base plate on, and screw in the handle. Oh, let me look at something. Hold on one second. 
that I wanted to mention. What I wanted to mention is um, the um, top plate. You see these little guards on the edge here? That's what holds the blade in place there. So it's just like the super speeds. I forgot to mention that. So let's put this in here. Okay, we're going to start with that. Now, what I need to do first is get my face re-wet before I load up my soap. So bear with me. Sorry, I should have done that beforehand. And the soap I'm going to use tonight was a very inexpensive one from um, Italian Barber, Razor Rock Soap. And that's the, what the puck. And this one is the um, Blue Barbershop. And it has uh, the scents of uh, bergamot, lavender, lemon, and powder. So it's your typical barbershop scent. And it's only $5.99. Uh, they do have a trio that they sold, but they're sold out at Italian uh, Barber. And it was a three-pack. You could get the lime, the orange, and this one all for only $9.99. I didn't get all three of them. <laughs> but it's sold out. But the other ones are $5.99 a piece. So that was very inexpensive. And I thought, wow, what a bargain. <laughs> so this is a triple-milled soap. And which means it's very, very hard. And I've been um, blooming it, putting the hot water on top of it. So I'm going to use that bloom water for my pre shave. Now, triple milled soaps need a lot more loading, a longer loading period to get enough of the soap off of the puck. Okay, there's that. And the brush I'm using is also from Razor Rock. This is kind of a Razor Rock night. A Razor Rock Plus Soft. Now, the Plasson was the uh, synthetic brush that changed, I think, changed the world of shaving. And it was a lot more expensive by uh, Lacaton and more expensive, but this is the take on it, and it's the same thing. So I got this, and it was under, oh, it was cheap. <laughs> so I'm going to wet that brush, and with a synthetic brush, of course, you don't need any uh, long soaking. And I'm going to wring that out, and I'm going to start loading. Now they say that you should load this for two minutes, but I don't know if I'm going to wait that long. Somebody time me. <laughs> I'm just going to load it, and like they say, load it like you hate it. So, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope you guys uh, celebrated safely on New Year's Eve. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of hangovers out there. I used to be a drinker in my younger days, and I could hold my liquor, and I was a fun party girl, you know, the kind that got up on the table and danced and put a lampshade on her head. Uh, but, uh, this is the calmer me. I think I had a ginger ale hard cider. <laughs> Alright, I'm loading the shit out of this. I think that's been almost a minute. Well, with the blooming, I think... I have plenty <laughs> loaded on that brush. I don't think I'm going to have any problem working this up to a lather. So I'm going to take some of that pearl lather and use it too. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, let me get... Oh, okay. Now, that is a thick base. 
<laughs> my hand is so full of the soap. <laughs> so as you can see, for $5.99, it sure did load up pretty good. So I'm just going to paint it, and then I'm going to gradually add some water to it, because I like a thinner lather. We want to get it to yogurt consistency. So that's coming along quite well. It's taking the water quite well. My journey since I re-entered last January has been very interesting. I joined Badger and Blade and got a lot of help and information from the people there. Um, as a female shaver, they treated me with respect, which I really appreciated. And, of course, in August, starting my YouTube channel, and you guys have been fantastic accepting me into the wet shaving community. All right, so let's see if I got the right blade that's got the uh, razor that's got the blade in it. Yes, I do. Let's warm this razor and let's start with number one pass. <laughs> I, I really have to laugh very hard when I say I wanted to keep my expenses low <laughs> when I started in case I didn't like it. <laughs> now about 40 razors later and about 40 soaps and <laughs> thousands of razor blades. <laughs> yeah. Do DE shaving. It'll save you money, they said. <laughs> uh, we all heard that one. <laughs> So I just want to feel what that feels like. You know, my um, my technique has so improved since I first began uh, or got back into DE wet shaving that this is actually, this first pass is actually affording me <laughs> a nice shave so far. I don't remember it being as good when I first started using this. is quite nice too. <laughs> oh my. Oh wait, that's the one with the tech. Yes, okay. That's the DE1. Okay. Rinse off that blade and we'll rinse off my face and we'll do a feel around. I'll tell you, that's awfully nice. It's just my usual trouble spots. This really coarse hair I have here and along my chin, here and along my chin. It's as good a first pass as some of my more expensive razors. So, let's do pass number two. And for pass number three, I'll change over to the quick change. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, 
you made my year. You really did. Um, I was taking a chance when I started a YouTube channel. I knew that. I was entering a man's world. And I was afraid that I wouldn't be accepted. And you guys have embraced me and been supportive. And you have no idea what that means to me. All kidding aside that I do, it means the world to me. Because I love reviewing new products. I love the interaction with you guys. That is one of the most important things to me. And you guys really have stepped up when I asked you to and interacted in the comment area. I love that about you guys. You know, I, I see other videos and there's hardly any comments or anything. So I want you to know how much I really do appreciate that because that's what keeps me going. It gives me ideas of what I want to do for more shaves. Uh, so any feedback you give me, any questions you have, please do so in the comment section. Let me know what's going on with you as far as my channel. Do you like what I did? Did you enjoy it? Uh, share if I'm reviewing something, whether you have the item or not, and how you like it. Because what I like, you might not like. And what you like, I might not like. You know, vice versa thing. Okay, I think that's plenty good lather. Okay, let's go with uh, pass number two. What is traditionally a pass number two, like you guys would do it. And I'll go from ear to nose. Yep, I really love when you guys interact with me and with each other in the comment section. It fuels me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My technique has really improved. <laughs> so do any of you have this particular razor in your den? Did any of you ever use it and then maybe pass it along to somebody? I'll tell you one thing. It's an inexpensive razor that's good for a beginner. It really is. As inexpensive as it is. And it's not a lightweight. It's not lightweight. This has got a nice uh, weight to it. And it's got a long enough handle. I like the length of the handle and the quality. Alright, I'm not going to overshave it. Okay, I'm going to rinse again and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to have to change out, change out the blade and put the Astro Blade in the other razor, which is the uh, DE1. And it's like a vintage Gillette Tech. Okay, got most of the soap out of my ear and whatever. Okay, let's change out the blades very carefully. Now this particular one is a twist to open. 
you know, barn door, butterfly, whatever you want to call it. And uh, like I said, it's uh, a take on the uh, tech, uh, the uh, not the tech, the super speed. Okay, and rinse off the blade too, and drop that in. And oops, didn't drop in all the way. No wonder it wouldn't close, okay? So you can see that head is very much like a vintage Super Speed. So, let's lather up one more time. Well, maybe two if I have to do a cleanup. So again, did anybody use that? Razor or suggest the, uh, either of these two razors from Razor Rock the Quick Change or the DE1. What did you start with? Let me know that. That's what I'm talking about as far as the interaction. Also, let me know what you started with. What were some of your earliest soaps? What were some of your earliest razors? I know I went on to the uh, Mercure 34C and the Edwin Jagger EE89. Okay. That lather's holding up. Let's get the, the razor hot. And let's go for the third pass. And I'm going to go this way this time. Here's an idea. Before I do my next shave, or well, it doesn't have to be before I do my next shave, but here, here's a little homework for you. Go back to uh, like the first, you know, some of the first razors that you used when you first started, and report back into the comments here what kind of a shave you got. And let me know if you had any difference. If you noticed that your your technique was better and you got a better shave than you did when you originally tried it, do that for me, okay? Thanks, guys. I know you'll come through for me. That is only going to take a little bit of cleanup. Okay. All right. I'll tell you, these oldie but moldy razors are performing quite well tonight. <laughs> it makes
makes me wonder, did I really have to start spending 50, 60, 100 hours on some of the racers I have? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta laugh or you're gonna cry. <laughs> I definitely have purchasing, <laughs> purchasing acquisition disorder, and there is no 12-step program available to us. Raise your hand if you have that same disorder. <laughs> okay. Let's have a feel around. And I'll tell you, the post shave on that cheap soap, the post shave feel is soft. <laughs> it's like, I just spent $26 on a shaving soap and that one's $5.99. Oh my God, I'm going to weep even more. Okay, um, I only need a few pickups here. So, I'm going to, Do that, but I'm going to work with what was in the brush. And just do that for my cleanups. So, here we go. Ah! Ooh, I just nailed myself. Um, there's blood. Ow. 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 <laughs> oh, I can see the Allen block coming. I got that good. I still have the remnants of the prednisone in my system, so I bleed easily. Okay, I think I don't have to worry about anything else here. Okay, that's a wrap. Let me rinse and I'll be right back. Ugh. Let's drain that water. And I'm going to do something that um, I haven't been doing. I'm going to take, right now before I uh, do my final rinse, I'm going to take some um, Thayer's Witch Hazel and I'm going to do a cleansing. Because it is a cleanser too. So I want to get all of that residue soap really off. Some more spritzes. Get all that residue off. Okay, now my cold water rinse. Oh, that feels so good. 
boo-boo. Uh, it's closing up kind of good. All right. And some people say you shouldn't, you know, you should just pat it dry. No, I do that to get rid of the dead skin that I've scraped with sharp steel. <laughs> All right, let's put the eyeballs back on, and let's have a feel around. Okay, that's BBS. I have spent thousands and thousands of dollars on product, and I could have stayed with these two razors and this soap. <laughs> I'm going to cry. <laughs> okay, let's add some more uh, Thayer's. Now, Thayer's is one of the first uh, things that... I used in wet shaving because I was already using the product. Um, after I get out of the bath, I put it over my whole body. It's got wonderful proper, uh, healing properties and soothing properties and medicinal properties. So I had already been using that before I started wet shaving. So let's dry that off. And let me check my boo-boo. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to even bother with I know what I will do. If you haven't tried this before, it's expensive, but it's worth it. And a little bit goes a long way. It's called the Cool Fix. You can get this on eBay, and you can get it in high-end um, uh, stores. And you only put like a little dab. And I'll tell you, it does sting. But... It will disinfect that area, too. So, keeping in tradition with things that I started with when I first started <clears throat> that were inexpensive was for aftershave, I like, for some reason, my video went out. I like Skin Bracer. So, this is going to burn. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a close shave, and that's why it's burning. Uh, but it's, it's funny. It's burning more in this area than it is on my boo-boo where I cut myself. <laughs> Go and figure. I'm going to have to piece together this darn video because it stopped. Okay, and... The other thing that I bought, and this was the most expensive thing I think I bought when I first started, was Nivea Men's Sensitive Aftershave Balm. So, I'm going to shake that up. And it doesn't take a lot. And emulsify it up. So let's see, if I bought two of the razors at $7.99 each, so that's 16, you know, close to 16, 21, including the uh, uh, soap, the blade wouldn't be very expensive. Let's even say 15 cents. And the Thayer's, that's like $7. And I don't remember how much the uh, Nivea is. That was a great shave. So, you've got your assignments. You're to go back to some of your earliest stuff that you used, and you're to report back to me how that shave went. <laughs> so, I dare you. Take up the challenge. Come on. Take up the challenge and do it for me. Do it for Jill. So, I'm not going to go through everything that I um, did again. Oh, yeah, the, the brush. That was another, what, 10 bucks. So, anyway, I'm not going to go through everything that I used again. But I want to end with saying everybody have the happiest, the healthiest, the prosperous 19, 19, 2018. And I hope everything you wish for and everything that you pray for comes to fruition for you. And just remember, like I said... I really do adore you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.
I love you.